Okay, guys, now we're going to try something a little more complicated. Let's look at C2H2. Just like before, we're going to start by assigning the number of valence electrons. Just like before, carbon has four, and we've got two carbons this time, so we're going to multiply four by two. And each hydrogen, of which we have two, has one valence electron. This ends up being eight. This ends up being two. Eight plus two is 10. So our total number of valence electrons is 10. That's what we have to work with in this Lewis structure. All right, so let's build our skeleton. Hydrogen is actually a little less electronegative than carbon, but uh, the sort of asterisk to the electronegativity rule is you don't put hydrogen in the middle because it can only form one bond and uh, it doesn't end up being in the middle. So instead we're going to put the carbons in the middle. All right, so once we've put the carbons in the middle, we put the hydrogens outside. And since we know that it is a molecule, we know we have to have bonds between everything. Hydrogen can only form one bond, so each hydrogen is going to bond to a carbon. And then you're going to draw a line in between the two carbons so that they're also linked together. So each bond contains two electrons, and I've made a total of three bonds. So that takes up six electrons of the tin that I originally had to work with. 10 minus 6 is 4. I have four electrons left to assign to this structure. I'm going to put one on each carbon. Excuse me, one pair on each carbon. Now I'm going to look and see if all of my atoms' needs are satisfied as far as their bonding. The two hydrogens are happy. Uh, they can only accommodate one bond because they only have that one electron, and so the only uh, orbital they're working with is that 1s orbital. Uh, but our carbons want to have eight electrons around them. They obey the octet rule that we learned about last week, or we reviewed last week. And right now, both of these carbons only have six electrons. So what you do in this situation, where you don't have any electrons left to give, is you have them share. So I'm going to erase this lone pair. I can figure out how to do that. There we go. Uh, and I am going to have that pair of electrons instead form a bond between the two carbons. Now, this carbon has eight electrons, but this one still only has six. So I'm going to take this pair of electrons away from that uh, lucky carbon, and I am going to make it share with its friend those two electrons. And now, They are both happy. Now they both have eight electrons, as represented by four bonds. One, two, three, four. A triple bond is the biggest bond we can make. We don't do quadruple bonds, uh, but a triple bond is completely uh, okay. So this is our final Lewis structure. How am I going to name this? There are certainly uh, common names for this, but what we want for this assignment, since this is what we're working on, is the systematic prefix name. So, uh, the first atom in this molecule is carbon. There are two of them. So I'm going to use the prefix di, carbon, and then there are also two hydrogen, hydrogens, so I'm going to say di hydri. And that's it. I'm done with it. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Email me if you've got any questions. Uh, hope you're doing okay. Bye-bye.